Hey guys, alright, so I promised you a painting video where we were going to paint that pack and the sleeping bag. I made it, I did the paint work on it, it didn't turn out as well as I was wanting it to. It didn't illustrate very well the principles I was trying to show y'all, just because of the medium. Um, cloth tends to absorb stuff a lot faster and it doesn't really make pattern very well on it. It's not a flat, hard surface. Patterns are best transferred onto those kinds of surfaces, like rifles and other plates and stuff like that. So what we're going to do, I do have, I remembered that I do have five, I think it's five, yeah, five magazines for my AR that aren't painted yet. So I'll go ahead and I'll paint those today, and I'll let you watch and show you what I'm talking about, and hopefully it turns out better than the pack and the sleeping bag did. Once I'm done with those, I will go ahead and show them to you so you can see just how it turned out. But I'm not as pleased as I thought I was going to be with it. Turned out okay. The sleeping bag, I guess, turned out the best of the two of them, but not as good as I would have liked. So, we'll get everything set up here, and we will do the magazines. So here they are. I'm going to do a base paint of green across all of them. Move them a little bit so they I can get the back edges on them. All right, now it's a simple process. See, they're all green. That one there's still got a little hint of black to that part. They're all green now, so we'll take and our varying leaves, once they dry, we'll take and we'll put patterns on them. But we gotta wait a few minutes for it to dry, otherwise it's not gonna work so well. So, let them sit for a few minutes and I'll cut back to it so you don't wait here for half an hour just so you can see me paint some magazines. <laughs> 